okay, in the physical configuration of these routers in our network, we're now configuring our clients. So I'm going to show you the Windows XP screen here. And Nikki is going to uh, double click on the local area connection and properties and highlight TCP IP, go to properties and show you the configuration. Hopefully you can see that. She's set the IP address to 192.168.1.100 and the gateway to 1.1, 192.168.1.1. And then that's on the PC that is connected to the bottom router. Okay, now Brock on the other hand, let's go over here and Brock, hopefully you can see this, he's got his configuration set right there, 172.16.1.100 and 172.16.0.1, right, he clicks OK and he's got his client configured, OK, and that's configured to the top, um, that client is connected to the top router down here. Okay, so now it's time to configure the routers. Okay, so we can get this working. Okay, to do that, I need Kyle. Yes. Kyle, you're my man. You're going to hold this. Okay. All right, you guys, you ready to go? Okay. Okay, I'm connected to my Windows 7 laptop which I connected to that bottom router that you saw in the video. Um, I'm not on XP. So what I did was to emulate this to hyperterminal into um, to connect to the router through the console cable. Uh, traditionally in the Cisco curriculum you use hyperterminal, but Windows 7 uh, does not come with hyperterminal. So what you can do is, if you want it, you could go to an XP client and you could copy out these two files hyperterm, hypertrm.exe, which is located in the program files folder inside of the Windows NT folder. And then out of the um, Windows System 32 folder, in the Windows folder on the C drive, in the System 32 folder, you're going to want to copy hypertrm.dll. So you'll need the DLL file and the executable file, and then you can run hyperterminal in um, in Windows 7. Uh, to console into the router, a better tool is, to, is PuTTY. Um, PuTTY you can download, just do a Google search on P-U-T-T-Y and you'll find the web page for it and you can download the executable P-U-T-T-Y. I'll show you how to do both to connect to the router right now. So for Hyperterminal, I'm going to launch it and get this to work. And um, you're going to need to give it your uh, I'm just going to give it my area code first time. First time you run it. OK, click OK. And make a name for your connection. I'll call it Cisco. I'll click OK. And let's see here. Connect using modem. No, I'm going to connect using COM1. OK, so you're going to set that to COM1. You click OK. And then you set this to 9600 your bits per second, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, flow control none. And click OK and you can see right away I have a connection to the uh, router, right? And you can see I've got a router here with no configuration, right? So that's pretty good. Um, let me close that. I'm going to disconnect now and close it out. I'm going to save the connection named Cisco. Alright, so I saved that connection. Now with PuTTY, it's similar. You just run PuTTY and you have choices here. RAW, Telnet, R login, SSH, or Serial. I'll take Serial. 9600 is the default already and it's already defaulting to COM1 here. And just click Open. Right? Click in the window, hit Enter, and then you get the router prompt. So you can see that that works pretty nice too. Um, PuTTY looks, works really nicely also. So either way is good, but I'll, I'll show you the hyperterminal way for configuring this router because that is the traditional way that it's done in the Cisco curriculum is using hyperterminal, although I do recommend PuTTY. It'll make your life a lot easier. So we'll run hyperterminal, hyper go the traditional route, and 
type in here new connection change it to COM1 communication 1 put in our correct settings and click OK and hit enter alright and when you first get in here you're actually it's actually gonna look like this okay so when you first console in physically to an actual router it you should get this as soon as you hit enter you're given a um, a user exec prompt this is user mode prompt and then you're gonna see this output that is sometimes that's sent to the screen um, right now is telling me about my interface and this output can um, can get to be annoying so first thing I do is turn that off it'll help for the video for learning process too so anyway you can't turn off this this output to the console window from user user mode or user exec mode so we'll have to go to privileged exec mode so we'll type in enable and if if you get output in the middle of your command just hit backspace and then hit enter again if you want or you can just finish your command and hit enter it'll work so enable right I typed in enable and hit enter now I'm in privileged user mode you can see the pound sign there and I'm going to need to go one mode higher to global config mode so I'm going to say configure terminal type in configure terminal two words hit enter and now you, if you see this prompt once again I'm getting output I'll hit enter where it says router and then config in parentheses and then a pound sign that's global configuration mode now I'm going to type in no logging console and that should stop all of the output to the console window so now I can exit out and I'm gonna exit again and start from scratch so I hit enter I'm in user mode I type enable I'm in privileged mode I type configure terminal and I'm in global configuration mode now I can configure my interfaces so we'll configure the Ethernet interface first type in interface FA 0 slash 0 that's for fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 type enter and we'll put in our IP address for our interface so we'll type in IP address 192.168.1.1 then put a space and put in your subnet mask in decimal notation hit enter alright and you will not see any response if you don't see any response if you have an error if you put in your command incorrectly you'll see a response but if you put it in correctly you'll see no response so it's um, it's definite um, like a command line situation here right command line interface then to turn on the interface we'll say no shutdown and now our Ethernet interface is up and if we had output coming to the window which I turned off it would say fast Ethernet is now is now up okay so we've just configured our fast Ethernet interface and I will hit exit now I'm back in global config mode and let's do our next interface so our next interface for this router will be interface serial 0 slash 0 right now I'm in interface configuration mode you can see what's this config dash if and I'll put in the IP address IP address 10.0.0.1 subnet mask 255.0.0.0 right and I will hit enter and since this interface on the bottom router is the um, the serial cable is the DCE side of the serial cable the DCE I have to put a clock rate on this interface so I'll type clock space rate and 56,000 Okay, so I've given it the clock rate. 
makes the DCE and now I'll say no shut down okay so that's great so now we've configured the interface on our fast Ethernet and we've configured the interface on our serial I'll type exit I'll type exit again <coughs> 